I don't normally post videos as a reaction to other people's comments or anything like that, but I feel not just for me, but for the greater drone community that we have to put a stop to something. And hopefully this video will help towards doing that. Yes, I'm just holding my mobile phone. I was not planning to uh, make this video, okay? So here's the thing. We have to stop these constant comments about visual line of sight, okay? I see constant comments on my videos, on other creators' videos. I see constant comments on Facebook groups, always talking about visual line of sight. You have to keep your joining visual line of sight. Let's, be, let's just be honest. Everybody generally knows that, okay? But how are you qualified to comment that somebody isn't adhering to visual line of sight rules. Why am I, after creating what I think was probably my best video yet on YouTube, reviewing the DJI uh, cellular dongle 2, um, just receiving constant comments about visual line of sight, I broke visual line of sight, I need an operational authorization, um, and I don't have the qualifications to do that. All of these comments. Why? Where are you getting the information from? Because, let me tell you, if you're getting the information from that bottom left corner of the DJI Fly app that tells you the distance, you are absolutely barking up the wrong tree. Let me explain. At the end of the day, the DJI Fly app shows you the distance away from the home point. That is the point with which you actually took off. It does not tell you the distance between the controller and the drone. I have got these things right here. They are called legs. If I take off to do a drone flight, I am more than capable of flying along or moving my position to keep my drone in visual line of sight. Not only that, I'm going to have to just switch uh, hands, my arms aching. Not only that, but you know, I have the ability to walk. So say for example, I walk for 500 meters from the home point and then fly a further 500 meters, for example, from myself. Guess what? I'm going to show a thousand meters away from the home point. That doesn't mean I'm a thousand meters away from the drone up in the air. Not at all. Okay, so this just really has to stop. And let's just give you a little practical demonstration of this. As you can see, you know, 712 meters and I am certainly flying outside of visual line of sight, according to what all you guys will tell me anyway, okay? Fully appreciate that, you know, shouldn't be doing it. Absolutely stupid. What a reckless guy I am, okay? But what I'm going to do now, just, just to be something a little bit more interesting, what's that you can actually hear? Oh, that's interesting, because according to my screen down at the bottom, I'm 797 metres away. In fact, if I come closer to me, I'm actually gaining. But look, hello, I'm here, okay? So, my screen controller shows that I am 802 metres away. But you can clearly see I'm not. Do you want me to back up? It'll decrease, go forward, it'll increase. And as you can see, I am certainly not 801 meters away, okay? I'm right in front of you. So yeah, basically, by looking at the corner of the DJI Flight App screen, whenever any YouTuber or general public is out flying and posting their videos on social media, it doesn't mean they're flying outside a visual line of sight. It just literally means how far the drone is away from its home point. Are you potentially satisfied by that? Silly, isn't it? So at the end of the day, you know, if you are berating people or YouTubers or general public about how far away they are from their drone based on that indicator in the bottom left corner, it's absolute nonsense. OK, so what you need to do is understand that me as a content creator and as a safe drone operator, I'm not in the business of incriminating myself. OK, I'm not going to post something for millions potentially to see. I mean, I'd like millions of views, but that's not the point. You know, the potential there is for everybody to potentially see this video. I'm not about to start incriminating myself. And yes, in relation to my video where I tested that DJI dongle too, the point is, Yes, I said I use spotters. I didn't say I use spotters to see overall distance or anything like that. I just said I use spotters. That was because vegetation is absolutely terrible for killing a signal. So I made sure I was up against the vegetation to the point where that would kill the Ocusync connection so that the 4G could take over. My spotter was simply a metre or so away, a metre and two metres away, the other side of the bush, with eyes on the drone. 
not everything is as it seems. And this culture between drone operators of policing others, okay, and constantly commenting negative stuff and constantly sticking their oar in about visual line of sight really has to stop. Unless you are right in front of that drone operator and you see them fly a distance that you know is beyond visual line of sight or anybody's capabilities, don't comment. Stop it. It has to stop, okay? As this video has just proven, I was flying my drone, according to the DJI Fly app, 800 meters away, but you physically saw that wasn't the case. So there we go, not the most positive video I will ever make, but I just want all of us to be able to operate our drones nicely, freely, and safely without fear of persecution based on perception. See you again soon.